Hi everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video I'll be giving you a tour of my bookshelf and a bit about my desk and I'll be showing you some of my language notebooks. Okay, so I've actually rearranged my bookshelf yesterday and I've gotten rid of a lot of books. I'm not sure those of you who follow me on Tumblr or have seen, I don't know, social media previously, my bookshelf was a lot more uh, full of books but I'm trying to scale down. So anyways, this top shelf I've organized um, into dictionaries and phrase books. So I've got my Japanese English one, Chinese English, um, Malaysian English and Chinese. Effective, yeah, you can read. <laughs> this one is a Indonesian phrase book, Korean dictionary and some other phrase books. And in here I have some old Korean textbooks. Um, I used to organize my bookshelf based on uh, just languages. So this whole shelf was Chinese and it would be phrase books plus dictionaries plus notebooks and textbooks. But now I've sort of done it a bit more practically for myself. Top row is dictionaries and then this one, is, this row is all the textbooks. So it sort of ranges from language. These are all Chinese, written in Korean but it's Chinese. And then it goes to Japanese but there's more Japanese here. Anyways, um, these are all Korean textbooks, but it's for Mongolian, Vietnamese, and uh, Korean grammar. This is Indonesian and Thai. Then I've got some Hindi, Malay, Vietnamese, Indonesian, Cantonese, another Chinese one, um, daily Chinese written in Japanese. Some more Chinese books written in Japanese, a Japanese book written in Korean, a Korean book written in Japanese, and then more Japanese and two French books. And then on this shelf I have some Japanese magazines like Nylon and Zipper and a lot of notebooks. So over here I have some language notes and even though this says science it's actually Chinese. Let's turn that off. And these are my really old school notebooks, which I'll show you in a minute. And these are some textbooks that I use for teaching. I teach English and Korean. And these are all the notebooks I'm currently using, which may look like a lot, but they each have their own purpose. And right at the bottom here, I've got some um, lesson plans, which I use when I'm teaching. And my fourth year university notes and my research paper notes, my planner and my sketchbook. So these are things I use a lot daily. Some stationery in here, some stickers from Purikura in Japan, and then some basic stationery. I love these uh, highlighter tapes. They're very easy to use. Some decorate deco tapes. I'm sure if you're a study blur, you'll have seen a lot of these. And just a basic collection of pens and my whiteout, which looks like mayonnaise. And over here on the window shelf, it says Songoaza, which means let's succeed. And I've just got a plant, which is quite new. My friend gave it to me. I usually don't have plants because it's hard to take care of them. Some little pillboxes for decoration. And then my, um, I almost said appliances, my, my technological devices. On the left, I have my first notebook that I used when I just started learning Korean. So as you can see, I was still figuring out how to write hangu, um, pronunciation, learning some basic um, children's stories and uh, yeah it's pretty I don't know if I should say embarrassing pretty cute looking back at my handwriting and how I still used English for the spelling um, but as you can see I slowly improved try to write neater this was about 2009 or 10 when I was in high school um, first learning Korean. This must have been a year later. You can see my handwriting changed a lot. That was my first book. And then this is the most recent one. Bought it in Korea. It's kind of cute. Um, it's not finished yet because I was just working from a textbook, but you can see my handwriting has changed throughout the years. It gets kind of messy and there's no English. Um, yeah, basically just checking vocab and sentence structures. So you can see how I've grown in six years of learning Korean. I have quite a lot of Japanese notebooks, but I've just chosen the ones from the beginning of my learning journey to the one that I'm currently using. So I'll start right from the beginning. Um, I just covered this notebook with some picture I found in a magazine. So this was about 2011 and I was like rewriting it two years later. Um, I 
<laughs> even wrote the pronunciation in Korean, which makes sense because a lot of people have told me I sound Korean when I speak Japanese. So this is like, Ohayo gozaimasu, and this is like, Ohayo gozaimasu. So you can hear because of、um, what I've written in Korean, my pronunciation changes. Anyway, this handwriting is terrible. I can barely read that.、Um, anyway, so this is my Plants vs. Zombies. This is my first notebook. Um, a friend of mine was teaching me kanji, probably the first kanji I had ever written. Learning numbers, being too scared to write them in, <laughs> in Japanese and just using domaji. Yeah, these lessons were quite fun. I remember this was a YouTube lesson that I was just transcribing, and this was really when I started feeling like, wow, I'm, I'm studying, this is great.、Um, this was also about high school, maybe 2010 or 2011. Still practicing、um, writing the characters, some grammar, and <laughs> highlighting the characters that were really bad. I learned a lot from a Korean book, that's why you'll see there's a lot of Korean in here because the textbook I used was made in Korean. Then I don't know why I keep switching notebooks. So this one's not finished yet, but I decided it would be nicer to write in this one while I was using the textbook Japanese for busy people. Used、uh, this notebook. So I would write down the vocabulary and oh man, this looks hideous. Some sentences. <clears throat> Still using a lot of romaji. Learning about things like making comparisons, superlatives, some <laughs> really badly written kanji. This was for obviously a specific textbook. And then currently I am using this. Edemite Wakaru Nihongo textbook and writing the notes from the book in here. So you can see how my handwriting has changed in three years. And I'm trying to use minimal English.、Um, if necessary, I need to write it in there. Otherwise, I try to write synonyms. So basically, most of the words that I don't know are written in kanji. So I just study their meanings. And I like to write a lot of example sentences rather than. Um, just words on their own because I learn better by memorizing sentences.、Well, this is pretty much what my notebook looks like currently. Okay, on the right is the first notebook I used for Chinese. Actually, the second. Let me just find the very first one.、It、might be in here. Oh, I found it. Okay, this was pretty much the first time. I had ever written Chinese and I was really interested in、um, Chinese music, especially Taiwanese pop. So I would write down the lyrics and then translate every single character at a time and then try to figure out what the meaning was.、Um, I'd try and write some self introductions. So this was my very first Chinese notebook. Kind of terrible looking back. Okay, back to this one. These were copied from a textbook, and the textbook was really great because it had the pinyin, so、um, that was easy to learn the pronunciation of each character. As you can see, it's、uh, traditional Chinese because the textbook was Taiwanese, and originally I learned traditional first before moving on to simplified.、Um, but I like to switch up my, my phone's languages to have both simplified and traditional so that I don't forget either one. Studying some grammar like this. Still trying to keep the English minimal. Learning about location words. Practicing writing the characters. It's extremely messy. <laughs> I was trying to write a little speech, I think. And here you can see I tried to get a bit neater, but it's still hard. Obviously, writing the characters, trying to get some practice here. And this is probably a bit more recent where I really tried to focus on、um, really drilling these characters in. Then, this book is one that I specifically used with a Japanese textbook, which I left in Japan, but it's、um, About writing a diary. And unfortunately, my diary, I left it on the plane, so I don't have it anymore. But I was writing, writing a page in Chinese each day. So this book helped you know what to write in a diary. So things like, you know, waking up and stuff like that. 
So this is what I used over the holidays in Japan. So you can just see what my notes look like when I'm working from a textbook. And I try to write the sentences a few times so I can really um, drill it in. For my Chinese, Japanese, and Korean notes. And I hope you enjoyed... Wow, this is not focusing. There we go. I hope you enjoyed the video of my bookshelf tour. See you again. Bye!